Hi there, I am Roshan and welcome to Programming Portal. In this video you will see how to get the last modified date and time of a file in Java. Here we will see two different methods in this video. First using the last modified method from java.io package which provides many classes and methods to perform various operation on files. And second with the basic file attribute class from java.neo package. Java.neo package helps to get attributes such as creation time, last access time and last modified date. It works for both files and directory as well. So let's get started. First we need to import file class from java.io package. So we can write here import java.io dot file class. Next is to declare a variable which will hold the path of the file. So we can write here string file path We will specify the path later on. Next step is to create the file class object. So we can write file object name. I can specify file only equals to new file. And we have to specify the file parameter. So I can write file path. So object has been created. File class has built in function last modified which will return us with the modified date and time. But it will be long value measured in milliseconds. So we need to convert that millisecond into readable format. So we can write system.out.println. Here I can specify file dot last modified. This will return us with the milliseconds since the epoch time. So we need to convert into readable format. But first we need to specify the file path. So I can specify here, I have one text file tem.text. Let's save and try to print this value. As you can see it is written with a long value. We can use simple date format to make it more readable. So let me do this. For that I need to import simple date format class. So we can write import java dot text simple date format then we have to create the object so we can write simple date format sd equals to new simple date format here you can specify what format we need so i need last modified date in this format so what we need next, we can copy this and we can write sd dot format and that's it. Let me rerun. As you can see last modified date and time is in proper format. So this is the file property as you can see modified date is 6th October. And same output is here. Next method is using the java.neo package. First we need to import few libraries. So we can write import java.neo package. In that we require file.path. Next we require import java.neo file.paths. We require one more library so we can write import java.neo.file.attribute basic file attribute class. So let me comment this first. We require simple date format. First we need to create the path object so we can write path equals to paths dot get here I can specify file path then we have to create a basic file attribute class object using the read attributes method so we can write basic file attributes attribute 
equals to files dot read attribute we need to import these files so import java dot neo dot file dot files here we need to pass two parameter first is path object and second is basic file class so i can just copy paste dot class this code has to be surrounded by try catch block so i can write try catch exception then we just have to call various method using attribute so first we need last modified date so we can write attribute dot it will be last modified time similarly i can write for others dot last access time creation time the output will be not in proper format so first we need to convert into millisecond so we can write 2 millis then we can specify what format we need so we can use simple date format format similarly we can do for remainings so we are printing three property last modified date last access time and creation time let me save and try to run so this is three output so we have got the output we can validate with the actual properties so creation date modified date and access date i hope we have learned something new today if you enjoyed this video please like comment and hit that subscribe button thank you for watching see you next time